Hey there guys, happy weekend, happy Friday. This will be a message for the sign of Libra. If you have Libra placements, chances are there could be messages in this reading for you. Flip the roles as you see fit. I could be picking up on your energy, Libra. I could be picking up on the energy of someone around you, something going on around you. Um, anything could pop out in this reading. This could be talking about love, romance. This could be talking about your platonic relationships, family. Um, I'm hearing feuds, okay? Some of you could have fallen out with family, okay? That's going to be very specific. Um, only take the re messages that resonate. Leave what does not resonate for someone else. And if this is not your reading today, please come back next time. Thank you so very much for your love and your support, Libra. Without further ado, let's get into your reading. I hope all is well with you. Let's see. We're going to be drawing for a couple of oracles. And then we're going to be getting into a main spread. If need be, I will pull an additional spread if the message is very specific or... Yeah, so we'll just see where we go with it. Let's see. Messages for Libra. Spirit, tell me about Libra. What does Libra need to be aware of at this time? We've got faith, healing, meditation, and praying. Nice. Messages for Libra. It is just coming out of your season. Oh, why did it have to drop right over there? Hang on. Hang on, Libra. Oh, passion dropped on the floor. Boom. We have passion. Okay. Insane chemistry, sparks and having fun. Equal interest, burning desire. Okay. Messages for Libra. I hope you've enjoyed your season, Libra. Cut down. Cutting out separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, but it came out in the reverse. One more. Abundance in the reverse. Positive mindset, manifest gratitude, bliss and blessings. Somebody could be wanting to come towards you to heal some sort of relationship with you. This could be somebody who feels like they're not doing good without you or you bring something to the table, Libra, that this person may be finding irreplaceable in some way. Um, feeling like crap is in the reverse. Somebody could be coming out of an energy of woe is me, the victim mentality, whether this is you, Libra, or somebody to do with you. We're going to be getting some tarot to see what this is and then we'll move on to the main spread. This could be somebody who is trying to do some sort of work on themselves here. Um, and they're going to be coming back to you in some sort of different energy is what I see. This could be somebody who's definitely making some sort of change with the Hierophant. Yeah, this could be a Taurus. The Three of Pentacles. Yeah. The Knight of Wands. Somebody could have been a player in the past. Somebody could have definitely been led by the loins in the past, whether this is a masculine or a feminine. Or this person's very attracted to you. Could be both. Messages for Libra. The King of Pentacles. Somebody could be more heavily focused on long-term stability over like passion. So if this was someone who you knew to be very fast or somebody who you knew to be a player, okay? This person could have liked to have kept people on rotation in the past. Um, what's at the bottom of the deck? The Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Mm, the Four of Wands. So did somebody not treat you how you needed to be treated in the past? Like you could have been married to this person, had a home with this person, some sort of dynamic, and you felt like somebody was not pulling their weight in some way. This could have been an energy of someone always chasing the bag as well. Somebody putting money before love, um, projects before love. Like you could have felt backbenched by a person too. And this is somebody who's trying to change that about themselves. This could be a fire sign or an earth sign, the eight of swords. Somebody was very stuck to some sort of um, 
way of being. And I feel like it may have had something to do with their status, their money, something about their money. It's like they put money over everything, you know, something like that. And this could have been somebody like a workaholic. You never saw them. The tower in the reverse, the ten of pentacles in the reverse. It's like, I'm kind of seeing an energy of somebody wanting to make something right with you because the future is kind of looking like they're not going to be able to build something with you. It's like they could be very established or they could have money, definitely. But with the three of swords and the ten of, sword, ten of um, pentacles in the reverse with the tower, it's almost giving like the energy of um, it won't be complete without the Libra. Something about your energy or something about your input is going to make something a little bit more bigger than what it is. And this could have been somebody who felt like they could go it alone or do something by themselves. This could have been somebody who turned from we to I. Do you know what I mean? Like it's an I thing. It's not a we thing. And that could have been the, some sort of inability to work for the team could have got in the way here. Somebody could also be losing money or they don't have as much as what they used to, especially if somebody was doing really well in the past. This could be a water sign. Five of pentacles. Yeah, someone's coming back to apologize to you, Libra. Three of cups. Five of pentacles. Someone could definitely be struggling with finances here. This could be somebody who maybe in the past they had it like that and something just isn't anymore. Like they're not enjoying it anymore. So if they were definitely in their element in their money um in their bag like they could have been definitely high rolling is what i'm hearing like they were doing really well in the past and they're not doing so well now how do they view you judgment in the reverse they could feel like they made a poor judgment call on you how do they feel about you how do they feel about libra the six of pentacles How do they feel about Libra? The page of pentacles in the reverse. They feel like you gave and 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 you gave some more and they didn't give it anything. They had it to give, they didn't give it. Six of pentacles in the upright, you were very giving to someone. You wasn't selfish, they were. How does Libra feel? The Queen of Swords in the reverse. You could hold some sort of resentment for this person. It's almost like the energy of giving and giving and then feeling as though I'm starting to resent you because you're not meeting me where I am. I resent you at this point. Like, So you could have some sort of resentment for this person because of how much you gave and how little they did something like that with the star in the reverse you've given up on this the page of wands but you've not heard the last of this person this could be a fire sign the three of wands you've got a message coming in possibly within the next three days three weeks something about the number three or four could be very significant expect to hear from this person um, the king of wands, the justice in the reverse. So somebody was very selfish with you in the past. We know that, Libra. And this is somebody who is realizing that they can only go so far without you. So everybody has free will, but I do see this is somebody who you could have had some sort of resentment for. Maybe you've healed that part of yourself now. I don't know. Maybe you could be onto the next thing. You could be setting your sights on something new here. Some of you, you're talking to a new fire sign or this could have been a fire sign that you dealt with or an earth sign. Any advice? Then we'll move on. The emperor in the reverse. Any advice? The ten of wands. Any advice? The Three of Swords. I see someone slipping back into old habits. Um, so if there's like a, 
a moment of, I'm sorry, a moment of, okay, I shouldn't have done all that stuff back there with the 10 of cuts in the reverse. If there's a moment of, okay, I see the error of my ways. I see how I was selfish. I see how I wasn't batting for the team. That is going to be very brief. And I see someone slipping back into very selfish ways, my way or the highway, controlling possibly as well. Um, and I see it being hard work to get on the same page with someone, not to say that it's going to be impossible, but with the turn of cups in the reverse, I don't feel like somebody is of the mindset to manifest as a team. So if it is that you are potentially wanting a family with this person, for some of you, romantically, um, I feel like somebody's too selfish and stuck in their ways to actually be someone who, if this is a masculine that you're dealing with, because the emperor is here, um, the king of pentacles is here and you could be a feminine because you did come out as the queen of swords in the reverse, right? So whatever disappointment that happened in the past, if this is a masculine, I do feel like this masculine will struggle to be holistic about his approach in gathering something or bringing something together. I feel like it's going to be a very hard task to get on the same page with someone and with the three of swords, it may not end well. Okay, so do with that information as you will. Um, if this is a father or someone who you have children with or someone who you've discussed children with, okay, because not everybody's going to have children, I understand. This is going to be someone who you're going to need to think twice before embarking on that journey of parenthood with this person, even in a co-parenting capacity, because you may find that you're going to be hitting a brick wall and some sort of hard slog where it comes to someone like putting their own needs above whatever else that needs to happen, okay? This is somebody who is very self-serving, very self-serving. And this could be somebody who may want you to bend, may want you to be on board with them, but are they willing to make the sacrifices to meet you where you are? I very much doubt it, especially if you want like a family with this person specifically or some sort of coming together or building of a future, this person will always slip into putting themselves first or struggling with the balance of, okay, batting for the team and batting for myself, okay? And you could definitely know this already about this person, you know, but there's something that you bring to the table, Libra, that this person is feeling like is going to be valuable to help them to prosper, to help. It looks good. You know what? You look you look good on paper, Libra, but we don't just need I look good on paper. We need I'm willing to meet you where you are. OK, I'm willing to sign the papers with you and I'm willing to look good on the paper with you as well as bring the action to the table, okay, and not just be self-serving, not just put myself over everything, okay, there's other things that we need to consider holistically, okay, it's a whole picture, we are not coming to the relationship or the union as you're over there, I'm over there, it's not going to run like that, okay, so just bear that in mind when this person returns or tries to come back, okay, if they haven't done already, Okay, let's draw for a spread now. Let's see. I feel like using this deck over here. So let's grab this. Messages for Libra. What does Libra need to be aware of? I'm also going to film a reading for members. So if you have not joined members, please consider doing so. I'm going to try to be a little bit more consistent with posting as that section grows. Thank you so much. It means so much. It means so much to me. Let's go. Libra. The hanged man in the reverse. The king of swords. The high priestess in the reverse. The five of wands. Um, some of you are dealing with another Libra. Um, Gemini, Aquarius or a Pisces. 
um, you have someone here who's hiding their emotions or hiding some sort of feelings. The, the, the full moon could be very significant. I know that we are in the full moon. I believe it was yesterday. Was it today? Something like that. We're in the middle of a full moon phase. Um, I'm not an astrologer, but I am trying to kind of verse myself more in astrology to kind of join the dots. Okay. Shout out to all the astrologers. They fascinate me every single time I listen to an astrologer. Um, the moon card is here. Someone is battling behind the scenes. Like, yeah, I feel like somebody didn't listen to their intuition where it comes to you and they're realizing this. They could have made some sort of poor judgment on who you were. Somebody is also seeing that you could be the brains of something or you have a lot more intelligence than what you put they, that they had you down as. I don't know if somebody thought that you was just some airhead or someone who didn't have no sense, didn't have no game. I don't know. Somebody didn't peg you down to be someone of intelligence or somebody who was um, of the mindset of creating or being the intelligent one, if that makes sense. And somebody could be realizing that they judged you poorly. This could be somebody who is definitely going through something at this time with the five of wands. And this could have something to do with mentally. They could be mentally struggling with something, getting their head around something even, or just generally struggling in their life right now. Tell me about the hanged one in the reverse. Like it's very clear to someone that they made a poor judgment on you. This put, could have been someone who judged you prematurely. The King of Cups. You could date same sex. Doesn't have to be though. You could be a masculine energy watching this. The Three of Swords. The Nine of Swords. When I tell you, when I tell you the judgment came out in the reverse, exactly what I said. Yeah. Thank you, spirit. I'm telling you. Thank you, spirit. Exactly what I said is on this table. The Queen of Wands in the upright. The Magician card. You are manifesting some sort of heavy success. Wow. New start here. The Six of Wands, the Magician and the Queen of Wands. Whether you're a masculine or a feminine, you're in high vibing manifestation mode. You are a powerhouse. Be careful of your thoughts at this time because you may just get what you think or wish for. Okay. Thoughts are manifestations too. I feel like sometimes we forget that. And um, you are in high manifestation mode. Literally, you'll probably think of something and then something will come to pass or you will desire something. And some sort of energy that is around you is attracting a lot of good things into your life. New starts, the emperor. You could even be attracting a person, a person that people are going to be jealous of, maybe with the ace of swords. OK, um, you could be manifesting a partner and you don't even realize it. Some sort of new beginning with an emperor type of energy a boss even yeah high vibing energy you're a magnet you are a magnet the ten of coins as i split okay so libra i'm kind of getting the energy of somebody really underestimated you literally underestimated you with a capital u yeah Definitely. So someone pegged you down to be more, you know, you could have been very loving to someone. I'm definitely talking, I potentially could be talking to a masculine. So if you are a masculine Libra, this is definitely something that I'm seeing for the masculines. Okay. Um, you were very sweet, kind, nice, wear your heart on your sleeves type of energy. Like your heart was there on a platter for people to see what you was coming with right? And that's the energy that you met someone with in the past. Someone took that as a weakness, okay? Especially if you're masculine. I have to, clar I have to, um, I have to um, exaggerate that, especially if you're a masculine. So you could have been seen as somebody who, oh, you're, they're too soft or they're too lovey-dovey for me. Like they, this is the type of person, if this is a feminine, who you're dealing with and you are a masculine, they want the one who is the bad guy. They want the one who is, you know, I don't know if this person wanted to be treated like crap or what, like for them to feel secure, but they had you down as someone who was very nice. 
Nicey, nicey. Probably too nice, right? Someone has broken their own heart. And when I say that, it's like, I don't know if somebody's just watching you in action at another table or there's some sort of smarts. I don't know if you're just very book smart, you're very switched on, your intuition could be popping right now. Listen, Libra, you're doing something where somebody is having a change of heart about you. Big time. It's like you've turned into someone or you are showing a, a different side of you that they didn't see, like you were, you were hidden maybe, or they just didn't, they didn't peel back the layers of the onion. Like they saw a person, they took you at face value. This is a very superficial energy. They wouldn't have taken the time to like unpick, unpack, you know, take things off the shelf, have a look at the thing at the bottom and at the back. Like they didn't do none of that. And hence the reason why they prematurely judged you, right? Because the judgment came out in the reverse. Exactly what I said before the card came out, right? Intuition was off where it comes to you. Could be a Scorpio or a Pisces. And now someone's up in their head and very worried. Someone can't sleep. This person could be having nightmares for some reason. Especially if somebody betrayed you because of the way that you were. So if somebody, for example, took your kindness for weakness, they could have felt like you were a simp or that you were just any wet blanket out here. You are showing someone, oh, no, nah. mm -mm. I was being nice. I was actually just being nice. And you took the ultimate piss with me. And now you have to sit in some sort of disappointment and, you know, anguish it looks like because you was all wrong about me someone had you effed up. like someone someone judged the thing all wrong where it comes to you Libra basically tell me about that king of swords because it's kind of giving book smarts like smart like spiritually smart you're smart in these spiritual streets something like that especially if you're masculine strong energy of the masculine Libras here. That they thought that you were weak. The eight of wands. Yeah. Two more came out. The nine of pentacles. Ooh, we. The queen of pentacles. Ooh, we. With the knight of wands. I'm dramatic, guys. Get used to it. <laughs> if you've just arrived. Oh my, some sort of accelerated motion forward. Your intelligence is paying off. It's getting you money. Like you could be definitely putting something into action and you are coming out very, very, very stable. If you're a masculine, there's a feminine energy who's looking at you like a hot dinner on a plate. You could be talking to someone new here, someone who is very established, somebody who appreciates you in all your glory. Oh, mm. Mm. <laughs> yeah, somebody finds you very, very attractive. You're attracting a lot of things. I'm telling you magnet energy, like this is magnet energy, money, finances, accelerated status, motion, moving forward, like something that you're putting your mind into. You could even be studying something and you're, it's paying off. Checkmate. Even I'm taken aback by this energy. Wow. For some of you, you are meeting somebody new, especially if you're a masculine. I keep saying that because it's masculine energy. I'm getting Knight of Wands the king of pentacles, king and queen of pentacles. You could be meeting somebody very, very like-minded. It's like someone sees you, somebody sees something in you that there's a past person here who didn't see you. I don't know if you was veiled, like the divine covered you, like to prove a point to someone, to teach someone some sort of lesson about judging a book by its cover. It's giving heavy judge a book by its cover, only to be sadly mistaken when somebody else comes along and spots you and knows straight away. You, they know, they're going to know straight away. So if you are not talking to someone new as a prospective person to get to know romantically yet, this could be an earth sign, a Capricorn, a Virgo or a Taurus. This could also be a fellow air sign to Libra, um, but stronger earth sign. Okay. 
you are going to have someone who's going to see you, know that what you're coming with, know what you're about. Um, they see with different eyes. There's levels to this and someone just wasn't on the level. Oh my gosh. Wow. Hmm. Queen of Swords. Someone was really wrong about you. Like someone made a, a very quick decision and they hadn't even got to know you properly. Like the King of Wands. This person's very attracted to you, this past person. And they're just realizing that they didn't see you. Like they didn't see. Tell me about that High Priestess in the reverse. The six of pentacles and the six of cups in the reverse. Hierophant. They didn't see who you were. They didn't see how chosen you were. They didn't see how abundant you was about to become. They didn't see how people, oh my gosh, how much favor you have with the divine. The hierophant, the six of pentacles with the six of cups in the reverse. Somebody was very blind very blind goodness me someone's kicking themselves in the backside i'm telling you tell me what they're going through here because it's come out and then we'll try sum up the reading with what you've got to look forward to what's this nine? Oh, the tower when i tell you emotional storm i don't know if the moon is slapping someone upside the head this could definitely be some sort of karma things are falling apart for this person they're falling apart internally Wow, with the strength card. They, they're trying to hold it together. This could be a Leo or a Scorpio. My goodness. I'm hearing I should have, I should have. Tell me about the five of wands. Oh gosh. Let me not light my hair on fire. <laughs> the ace of cups in the reverse. They didn't choose it. Mm, they had a divine being in front of them. They didn't choose it. Ten of swords in the reverse. They could have flat out betrayed you. Let's see what this, this three of swords is, by the way. Because I feel like six of wands in the reverse, page of wands in the reverse. So their non-action, their childish ways, them playing with you. Because the page of wands in the reverse is not serious, okay? And with the six of wands in the reverse, they didn't see you as successful. Mm -mm, two of cups they possibly didn't see you as somebody who was you know of the emperor empress status the emperor is here so they released you they released you they sabotaged something and now they're seeing with the ace of swords that you were the emperor you were that status all all the way along and you was a test to this person what do you do when you're presented with someone nice what do you do when you're presented with something where someone is showing you you know, on a plate, who they are, you can see everything's on the plate, nothing is hidden. And someone, someone played with that, played on that, played with that to the point where now they're looking at you like, oh my gosh. They didn't see you as successful. They played around with you. And in effect, they've broken their self, like they've broken their own heart here. I've seen enough, like, oh my gosh. The lovers, I'm telling you. Someone sees a good thing. You've got a new person, a new bae, a new whoever with the lovers. Could be a Gemini and they see what they want and they know it. Like, they see what they want. They see you. Someone is of, they got a different eyes. Like, they got, they just got different eyes with the four of pentacles and the death card. So you've got someone who released you, who could be wanting to revive something. And you've got a new person who sees you in your glory and wants you. And I'm not surprised because you're showing up in very attractive energy, extremely attractive energy. Masculines, jeez, I'm telling you. Seven of coins in the reverse, the ace of wands in the reverse. They didn't invest, they didn't want it. 
Didn't want it, didn't want it. And now they're sitting in this nine of swords. The nine of swords has come out. Somebody's very worried about you connecting with someone else and someone else seeing your value because now they see your value. My gosh. Knave of swords. This person watches you very closely with the eight of coins in the reverse. And they were lazy, right? They don't want to put in the work, right? And now someone has to see you being snapped up by someone who sees a good thing and they know a good thing and they're going to hold on to the good thing, right? I.e. you, Libra. The queen of coins. I'm telling you, if you're a masculine, you have an earth sign feminine coming in. Someone who's extremely stable. You dodged a bullet, okay, with the nine of coins. You dodged a bullet with the king of coins in the reverse. Someone looks for people who are successful to jump on board with. Temperance in the reverse. And now someone's kicking themselves because they didn't answer the call with the hierophant in the past. They didn't see you as someone who was chosen. And now someone's seeing it very, very clearly now. And they are kicking themselves in the backside. I'm telling you, nine of coins, a lot of stability, a lot of wealth. And I feel like you're meeting somebody in that same Calibra. Like, takes one to no one is kind of giving that. Like, so keep your vibe high. You are in heavy manifestation mode. Put them intentions out there because, baby, growth, capital G, the whole word capital letters, Libra. It's a good day to be a Libra. I'm telling you, wow, happy birthday. <laughs> What a reading. You snooze, you lose out. Libra, have a good Friday. Have a good weekend. Thank you so much for your love and your support. If you like how I read, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. But until next time, sending you love and light. Thank you so very much for watching and I will catch up with you soon. You take care. Bye Libra.